and they say they can attribute a lot of that success to finding each other open space on the court. Asked Brandon how he felt about students carrying guns into the classroom, and this seemed to be something he didn't have a problem with. She's been so successful selling hot dogs that she really has no need to do anything else. And she can thank her loyal customer base for that. Sure, this pool means that many can come and have fun in the summer, but it may mean more than that to some people. Campus Lake used to be a staple at Southern Illinois University, but ever since the toxic algae moved in, officials were forced to drain the lake, leaving it a barren wasteland. So there's a shooting, yeah. like right below me. Gunshots rang through the halls of the Evolve apartment complex last night. A 19-year-old male was shot in the lower back a little before 7 in the evening. Evolve tenant Carter Cole was on the second floor with a friend that lives two doors down from where the incident occurred. She uh, went toward her room and saw the police officer standing a couple doors down and uh, came back to me after a minute and said that somebody had been shot and that she couldn't go into her room at the time. With the fatal shooting and ongoing investigation into Sunday's incident, it has Carbondale residents worried about the crime rate. I know that Evolve is supposed to be the most secure building on campus, obviously, and there's been a, I've heard about a couple other shootings recently. It is a little concerning that this would happen in my own building. Now, neither the suspect or the victim actually lived at Evolve, and the two men were acquaintances before the shooting. Now, the suspect, Daniel Holmes, is actually a former SIU student and actually goes by the nickname Wale. If you have any more information on the crime, you can contact the Carbondale Police Department. Oh, you're absolutely right, Joe. They actually encourage you to use the app. The city of Carbondale has been using the app C Click Fix for about two weeks now. You can download the app for free, and once you have it, you can take a picture of a pothole or a street sign, anything that the public works take care of, and it will send that exact location of where the picture was taken to the city's manager's office so they can dispatch people to the scene. It also allows you to pay bills and contact authority figures, among other things. Officials hope this will lead to things running more smoothly around the city. Is there a pesky pothole on your street that's messing up your tires? Has a street sign been overturned for a week in your lawn? Well, city officials in Carbondale are trying to make it easier for you to tell them about the issue with the new app for your mobile phone. The app is called See, Click, Fix, and it's making life easier for city workers like Travis Black. We see something that we may not see, you know, I mean, because there's parts of town that we may not get to that day, and they kind of give us a you know, another set of eyes. We're getting more comments from the public and it's, it actually just helps us have extra eyes and provide better customer service. In a social media age, Black believes the city wants to make people more involved in their community and how it looks. It gives them a, a voice, you know, when they feel like maybe they don't have a voice. I just think it's a good thing for the community. The deadly SIU backcourt of Rashonda Napier and Kylie Gablehausen is one of the best duos in the Missouri Valley Conference. The two have been playing together for the past three seasons, and the two began bonding almost instantly. Came in my freshman year and a um, little bit nervous, and she was somebody that would, would comfort me, you know, make me feel confident in what I can do. Napier has been named to the All-MVC team the past three seasons and is second on the SIU all-time scoring list. She believes that the help that she offered Kylie in the beginning has helped both of them on the court. Well, I think it, it makes it easier for us to say what just needs to be said because we have established that rapport earlier off the court. So if she has to get in my face about something or I have to get in her face about something, we know it's not personal. There was a pass. I can't remember who it was against. And she just threw it over her shoulder. And it, it got to me and I scored. And, you know, it's just... Even the out of control things that you would think, you know, might not work well with other people, somehow work with us. Napier and Gablehausen are one and two in the MVC and three pointers made. And they say they can attribute a lot of that success to finding each other open space on the court. We come down during fast breaks and she, she knows I'm trailing her. She knows I'm on the wing and she, she won't look at me, but she'll dribble into her defense. She'll dribble into my defense and then she'll kick it out. And that gets me a wide open three. She's a floor spacer. Um, teams can't, you know, send everybody to me because she will make you regret that. Head coach Cindy Stein has coached Division I basketball for 16 seasons, and she says the pair ranks among the best tandems that she's ever coached. Well, I think Rashonda and Kylie are two of the best, uh, you know, and the things that make them really good are some of the just, um, it's off the court stuff as well of just 
um, the ownership that they take as part of this program. The guards rank one and two in scoring on the year for the dogs, and they hope to ride their sharp shooting to a win in the NBC tournament next Thursday. 15 is turning into a record-breaking year for gun sales. The United States is on pace to sell over 21 million guns this year, the most in United States history. Wild Dave's. Brandon Dempsey, owner of Wild Dave's Gun Shop in Heron, Illinois, said sales are up due to new customers. Yeah, I would say probably in the last three to four months, we've picked up a lot of new people like first-time customers or first-time buyers of guns. Some attribute the surge to the possibility of new government restrictions and people being afraid of having their guns taken away. Brandon says that isn't necessarily the case. I don't, I don't think it's anything necessarily that too many people are threatened and worried about. I think that some people do get worried about bans more than, you know, them taking them away. Universities in nine states allow guns in their classrooms for safety against school shootings, but Illinois is not among them. I then asked Brandon how he felt about students carrying guns into the classroom, and this seemed to be something he didn't have a problem with. It would. Um, stop some of the shootings because I know that a lot of times when those signs are up, um, it kind of shows a vulnerable place. Legally, the people that are carrying them and have a concealed and carry license and legally carrying them, they obey the laws whether the sign is there or not. Um, criminals and things of that nature, they, they don't necessarily abide by the signs. SIU professor Jim Wall does not agree that there should be guns in the classroom. Quite the opposite. Probably concealed carry shouldn't be allowed on college campuses to begin with. Gun control advocates argue background checks are needed if guns are allowed in the classroom, but Dempsey says that's personal preference. I believe, I mean, there's, there's certain things um, and safety nets and things that should happen, um, but it's a, you know, like I said, it's one of those things I don't, we just follow along with whatever the state and federal. Now on River Region Evening Edition, the cost of borrowing just went up for SIU and five other universities. The governor expresses doubt at a state budget agreement anytime soon, and the Southern Illinois Symphony and Jazz Orchestra fills Shryock Auditorium with music. For the Kids' Sake is a nonprofit charity organization that's holding a 5K race this Friday at Turley Park in Carbondale.